molecular structure of this new type of DNA is equally exciting. I wanted to notice exactly how it could be that silicone could be a possible replacement for carbon in the pairing that gets done with nucleotide pairs. So we have carbon, we have nitrogen, we have hydrogen, and we have oxygen that are the major elements that are used the most in the construction from the biological standpoint of our DNA. Inside of DNA, that basically shows us how DNA can be both ones and zeros at the same time. Simply by adding up the number of electrons or protons or neutrons in all of these stable elements that all have the same count of proton, electron, and neutron, we're able to then see that what DNA is actually forming with the adenine-thymine pairing that is part of the nucleotide pairings, and then the other pairing is guanine and cytosine, and then adenine converts from and transfer RNA from pairing with thymine to pairing with uracil. And is there an important aspect of this? Well, when you start adding up the number using nature's counting system, the number of electrons and protons and neutrons, you'll notice that the numbers end up turning out to be very complementary one with another. So these are all the things that determine your eye color, that determine your height, that determine what you look like, etc.